All right, guys, how's it going? So, listen, I mean, have you been following Joey Barton on X on Twitter? Uh, he's having an absolute meltdown at the moment because of the New England kit, you know, with this, uh, the flag on the back of the uh, the collar. What do you think about it? Uh, it hasn't triggered me, to be honest. I mean, I mean, I would prefer, you know, proper St. George's flag, you know, white, red. Yes, absolutely. I don't like woke things and stuff like that. I fully support inclusivity and you know, everyone being like friends and, and getting it on and that, you know what I mean? Uh, but do you know what I mean? Like, I, I, I like everyone, mate. Do you know what I mean? Every race, every sexuality, every religion. I just like everyone if they're a good person. And that's all that matters to me. Uh, I think it's the media uh, that creates divide. I think it's a lot of people on social media that creates and instigates division. Uh, I think the majority of us are accepting of everyone and everything uh, as long it's as long as we're, we're all allowed our own opinions we're not forced into accepting this or doing that you know what you do in your own house is you you know is up to you you know what I'm saying um, but I don't like the cancel culture mob and all that uh, I don't like people telling me how I should live my life um, I don't like uh, you know some of these big corporations that are, uh, you know just just too far one way politically uh, I don't like that you know when you get on a on a flight or a train I want to hear welcome on board ladies and gentlemen boys and girls that's you know I, why should they not say that for the fear of upsetting uh, someone you know man the fuck up are you allowed to say that I don't think you're allowed to say that uh, well I'll always say it that is for sure um, so I have um, you know I'm very open to everyone and everything but I just don't like you know, the virtue signalling or, or shit like this. You know, Joey Barton's banging on, like... I mean, Joey Barton is, like, he's interesting. That's about it, as far as it is. But I've seen some of his stuff, and I just think, what an absolute clown. Do you know what I mean? Uh, and it's people like that that can incite and create the division I'm talking about. So, personally, I think... The flag on the on the back of the the collar should be the Saint George white white and red, uh, deeming it playful or whatever they're trying to say. It does seem like some woke nonsense to me. Do you know what I mean? Uh, I you know would they do that with the American flag or flags of other countries? You know what I mean? Where they'd like where they'd lop you. You know what I'm saying? You got to be careful. Uh, so yeah, I can understand why people don't like it. Uh, I'm not raging about it because I, I'm not really bothered about the England side of things, you know what I mean? I am in a, a major tournament, don't get me wrong. I want England to do well. It's, it's my, my country. Um, but it is also bringing out the worst of people that are commenting on this stuff on social media. So I can kind of understand people that are like, oh, no, I, you know, I don't like that. It should be the St. George's. That, that's great. But there's some people, really evil scummy people commenting on this situation as well and you just know what sort of people they are now for me what triggers me what i find even more offensive is the price of the england jersey it's 124.99 for the exact replica i believe they do a cheaper version uh, which i think might be called a stadium version or something which i think might be 85 80 70 i i generally don't know but the, either the prices are just ridiculous you know, so um, uh, Matthew, Matthew Beale and, and others have previously used a website called Soccer03 to purchase um, jerseys. Uh, I think it might now be Soccer04. If you Google Soccer04, uh, I have no connection to this company. I've never used this company, um, certainly not affiliated to anyone or anything. Uh, but I know the guys have previously purchased from that company, and I have friends on Facebook, uh, not nothing to do with Cop Talk, uh, that have used that company as well, and they're buying England shirts and things like that for like a tenner or something. I think it takes maybe a few weeks to get to you, you know, three weeks or something like that, but as far as I'm aware, it's a perfectly legitimate company in the sense of you will get your order. Um, and like I say, it's not. It, it, I'm not associated to it, um, but I can understand why people would take a risk and say, well, it's only a 10 if it don't come, fuck it, versus £125. Now, according to Matthew Beale, he'll probably be in the comment section or you'll see him on the live streams if you ask him, the quality he's shown the shirts before and he said that they're, they're brilliant, you know what I mean? So anyway, that's that's all up to, up to you guys. 
Uh, I certainly wouldn't be uh, paying 125 quid or 80 quid for an England shirt. But they also do, you know, they do the Liverpool shirts and everything as well, you know. Um, many years ago, I used to offer, uh, I had a deal with a, an independent small family company that, like a sports shop that sold uh, football tops. Official Liverpool football club tops. Exactly the same as you would buy in a club shop. Um, and this guy, I, I can't remember his name now, we're going back more than 20 years or so. Um, approached me and said, I've got a little, you know, a small shop. Would you be interested in linking up with me? I'll do a really good deal for the people on your website. And I was like, yeah, sure. And he said to me, um, I can do it, uh, you know, at X pounds per shirt or whatever. Um, and, you know, there'd be a cut for you. Or I can not give you a cut from every sale and I'll do free postage globally. So I said, me being me, I said, no, nah, I don't, I don't want to cut. If, I, if you can help the fans out, you know, people that trust me or are coming to my website, then I'm happy for you to offer it at the best price you can with free global postage. Uh, and I won't take anything. I didn't benefit from a single penny from that deal, not even a free top or anything. And uh, it saved Liverpool fans, especially those in far countries, you know, like Australia, for example, if it was being posted from the UK and even Europe, it was saving them an absolute fortune. I'm sure back then it was maybe 20, 30 quid postage. I honestly don't know, I can't remember, but it was expensive if you were to buy from the club shop, for example. Uh, and I remember, you know, the club actually threatened me, Liverpool Football Club threatened me uh, and said, um, you know, because I was obviously saying, you know, you can buy the exact same stuff as from the, from the club store, but with free postage. So, the free postage was a big deal. You know, I guess if it was the same price from the club or from an independent retailer and you lived in England, the postage was about the same, whatever. Maybe people would go with the club. Do you know what I mean? Even I would be inclined to do that, support the club, right? But if you lived overseas, maybe it was saving people a lot of money. And uh, the club contacted me and basically threatened me uh, and said, um, this is... Um, Aggressive advertising. I'll never forget that. Aggressive advertising. You see, when I think of aggression, aggression and aggressive, uh, you know, I think about, hey, I'm fucking buying the fucking shit. You know what I mean? That's aggressive advertising. Um, but they said it was aggressive advertising. And in the end, to cut a long story short, the football, Liverpool Football Club offered me financial incentives um, via ways of working with them if I stop that advertising, but they basically threatened me anyway and said, if you don't, we'll stop you anyway. But if you work with us, uh, we'll look after you. It's true. And uh, I did not do anything with Liverpool Football Club to benefit me financially. Uh, I, I probably continue, I can't even remember, but I, I, well, I know for a fact that I didn't agree to it. I didn't take any money off the club um, or any, when I say take the money off the club, I don't mean envelopes full of cash. I mean, like, they, they, they do ways of working with them. And this is why I say to you about certain content creators today, when you work with the club, they may not give you an envelope with cash, but they'll give you other ways of where you can make money. Does that make sense? And that's what applied back then. But I rejected it and said, no, nah, you're all right, thanks. Carry on as I am. And, um, you know, I've had it before with the club, you know, many years ago, when, when they would threaten you legally and I used to say, well, take me to court then because the publicity will do me the world of good and nothing ever came of it. But uh, I certainly didn't agree uh, to uh, to work with the club on, on that. I didn't take anything off the club directly or indirectly. Um, and I suspect that I just stopped it. Yeah, I must have stopped it because they'll have been getting heavy handed or something like that. Can't remember, to be honest with you, it's a long time ago. Uh, but I do have experience of, uh, you know, these... You know, these these things and um, I know we're going off a little bit there but I just thought you might be interested to know um, and you know and don't forget that's the club operating prior to American ownership you know when people always talk about you know if I said now that's what FSG did a lot of people go well that's the Americans for you you know these you know and all that well this is under David Moore's uh, ownership so um, you know people you know they have different people that run different things uh, so anyway um Soccer zero four might be an option for you if you're interested in in ordering football kit. It's nothing to do with me if you get burnt. 
Um, but I do know that the guys, um, you know, that join my streams and friends do use that company. Um, would you pay £125? I mean, what did you pay for a Liverpool top? I mean, people, you know, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. If you support the club and you, you want to... Uh, the, the latest Liverpool top, especially if you've got kids and stuff like that, then I get it totally. I do, honestly. Um, but there is there comes a cut-off point, I think, and when you're getting ripped off. Uh, anyway, so I don't know what you think about the... Um, <laughs> the, the the flag thing on the, um, on the... on the back of the England shirt. I mean, Joey Barton's going mental, sexual, bisexual, lesbian... How wrong is it? A bit of girl on girl, is it? So, right, is it? Do you know what I mean? It's like he's really angry about it. Like, I, mean, I would be, I, you know, like, okay, look, it should just be a, a red and white cross. I get it. I understand it. And it is woke as fuck. And, it, it, you know, they've picked the wrong country, really, to be honest with you. Um, so, yeah, I, 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 I fully would uh, agree with changing that. So that's that. But I'm not going to lose any fucking sleep over it. Do you know what I mean? Jimmy Barton, um, he's one of those, you know, and this is often the case with some of these personalities, whether it's political or football or whatever, is the controversial one. Sometimes you, you find yourself agreeing with them and thinking, well, at least he's got the balls to say that. Or she's got the balls. Well, maybe she, well, actually, 2024, so maybe she has. Uh, you know, I like people that aren't afraid to speak up. But I, I tend to find that the people that aren't afraid to speak up then tend to cross the line and go too far. Do you know what I mean? So sometimes you can go, oh, I, can, I kind of agree with that, but then they go too far. And that's Joey Barton for me. So, you know, there's one thing, you know, at the moment he's, um, he's being sued by Jeremy Vine because he called him a bike. Uh, I don't want to say the word because YouTube will probably restrict my video. But it begins... Uh, N O, you know, non, you know what I mean. This is a, uh, he called him that, and he's now been sued by Jeremy Vine, and he's writ, he's now run a, a crowdfunder, which I'm sure initially said all proceeds would go to Alderhey, but I think he's now saying if there's anything left, or there'll be a minimum. I don't know, I don't know, but it just it kind of feels strange for me, you know, when you get millionaire footballers wanting a crowdfunder to from ordinary people to help challenge legally for calling someone something that is a dangerous thing to call someone. Uh, maybe maybe Jeremy Vine, I mean, I don't even like Jeremy Vine. Maybe Jeremy Vine should go, yeah, whatever, you're just a failed footballer or something, I don't know. Uh, but, you know, crowdfunders, you know, I've, I've had crowdfunders before on here, you know, on here to, I think it was to, to get a, a new computer once, you know, um, to do my videos on many years ago. Um, might have been 2014, I can't remember. Uh, I could do with doing another one again, to be honest, but you don't mind supporting a crowdfunder if it's a content creator or someone, you know, family or friends or something like that. But millionaires that are going around running the mouse, calling people really dangerous, insulting things, and then saying, will you support my crowdfunder? Kind of strange, doesn't sit right with me, that. Um, but he's, he's, he's one of them people that... Sometimes I think, yeah, he's, he's got the balls to say it. Nice one, yeah. But then sometimes I think, oh, what an absolute clown. Do you know what I mean? It's a bit like Stan Collymore, but he's the other way, right? So Stan Collymore, you follow Stan Collymore. And Stan Collymore, he's, 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 he's tetchy as well. He sees racism and everything. Do you know what I mean? Whereas someone like John Barnes doesn't. Strange aren't the people, man. I think at least round here, we, we just stick to what we think, don't we? Uh, I mean, I've been controversial over the years and I always have a, a laugh and a, and, and a giggle, but that's the difference is here. Do you know what I mean? Like, if I say something that some people go, fucking hell, it, it's because I'm joking, you know, having a bit of a laugh and a giggle or trying to, and you're not even allowed to do that today. But some of these personalities, they, they do go too far. Anyway, let me know what you think about um, the uh, the 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 flag on the back of the um, the collar on the New England kit. And would you pay one hundred and twenty-five pound or eighty-five, whatever the stadium shirt costs, whatever the fuck it's called, ground shirt? I don't even know what it's called. I'm not really bothered to be honest, guys. 
Let me know what you think. If you appreciate the video, not if you agree with the video, but if you appreciate the video, please give me a thumbs up. Please drop me a comment. Uh, and if you're feeling generous the weekend is here, you can buy me a coffee or a beer by eating a super thanks button. I'm not Joey Barton. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> so, um, yeah. Do you follow Joey Barton? What do you think of Joey Barton? Mm.